Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of microwave and optical communications. In today's class, we are going to learn about light detectors and photo detectors. Okay. So before getting into these uh, types of detectors, we need to know actually what are light sources. Okay. I have already made several videos and uh, depending on the light sources, you can also go through them. Okay. So in short, a light sources are nothing but which converts the electrical energy into a light energy. As we are using optical fiber communication in order to pass the light, adding some sort of data, we need to go for some light sources which will be providing a good amount of light. So LEDs and the lasers are the best choice for the light sources with respect to the optical communications. Okay. And coming to the basic block diagram, if you see over here, we can see an optical source, we can see an optical fiber and connected to an optical receiver. Okay. So optical source is nothing but the light sources where LED or uh, laser is, is connected. Okay. And it takes the electrical signal as an input and it converts the electrical signal into light energy. And this particular light energy with an integration of data will be passed through the optical fiber cable and the optical receiver receives the data. Okay. Now at this particular point at the optical receiver, here comes our topic called as light detector and photo detectors. Okay. So these detectors, light or photo detectors, uh, whatever the light is coming through the optical fiber cable will be received by these particular detectors, which are incorporated in the optical receivers. And that will be again converted into the electrical signal, which will be again sent for the processing. So optical receivers converts whatever the light coming or technically we can say incident optical signal to an electrical signal, which is nothing but the current or an voltage. Okay. So this particular optical detectors or the light detectors, as I've already said, it's a fundamental element incorporated with the optical receiver followed by some amplifiers and signal conditioning, some sort of circuitry. If the signal is uh, weak or having some sort of uh, Distortions or noise amplifiers will be helping in removal of the noise or distortion and strengthening the signal. And also this particular extra circuitry will help in signal processing. Okay. And there are several types of light detectors or photo detectors uh, where uh, we can call them as photodiodes, phototransistors, photoconductors, etc. Every the component or the device does the same thing, okay? Converting the light energy into electrical energy. Coming to the performance, so these particular components or the, the circuitry devices are small in size. They will be having high responsivity with respect to the wavelength, okay? And they also have low noise and as high gain. And the response time is very, very fast with respect to the bandwidth. And they also work with respect to the temperature variations. Okay. So they also have long operating life and also comes in less cost. Okay. And the major advantage is it has less power. It consumes very less power and it operates at very low voltage. Okay. These are some of the performance benefits as well as the operation of the light detectors and photo detectors. 